Hello there. It's Turkish Films. Did you know that some days it's chess day, and other days it's not chess day? That's a good intro. My opponent, Atulia Gupt, from a country which will be revealed later. If you guys have any idea what country it is, go ahead and pop it down in the comments below. You know, make that YouTube algorithm sing. In all, I was going to say seriousness, but there's nothing serious about this channel. In all something, in all existence, um, this is a position of chess. It's a chess position. We can see it's a King's Indian, King's Indian defense. And um, yeah, white has a big center, three pawns in the middle of the board. Uh, only one piece developed. Black has two pieces developed in King Castle. Uh, I've played I played G G three here because he's opening the line for his bishop. So that means something has to defend the uh, B seven pawn. So I summon Fianchetto here. Knight F three I've played a lot of times, and Knight E two I've played. Also Bishop D three I've played. So I really don't have a system here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go Knight F three. Try to play my bishop out soon, probably to E two just to stop the pin. And we're going to castle. So now we can see development is, okay, like, equal. We both have three pieces out and have castled. White just has a bigger center. And black is going to attempt to chip away at the center. Um, I'm going to try to maintain it if I can. And his break is the f5 move. So he moves his knight and then plays f5 and breaks up the pawns. That's his plan. Uh, I can go for a queenside play with c5 at some point. Um, I want to respond with his f5 move by playing f3, so I can defend my pawn with a pawn and keep my pawn structure. And here goes the plan we just talked about. Um, I wonder if in this position, he doesn't want to play f3, he doesn't want to play f6. So I don't know if I can play bishop g5, f6, I move the bishop back, and then he plays f4. So what does that get me? I think he got me nothing. So probably I shouldn't play it. So my temptation is to move the knight here. Um, I want to play knight g5. Then if f6, I can put my knight on the amazing e6 square, which is a fork. Um, and actually I'm going to win stuff there. The problem is he doesn't play f6. He just plays h6. Uh, and then I go back, and then he plays f4. f5, sorry. So I have to bring my knight back. Um, I think I'm going to bring it back this way. Which is weird. Normally I go to d2. I didn't want to block the bishop in. So I decided not to. So now I'm not blocking the bishop in. Excellent. And my king is a little bit uncomfortable. Because he's pushing pawn on the same side as my king. So if I can, I want to not have that happen. This seems like not a good move to me. Um, takes, takes. I'm still defending that a lot. So I think this is just a rogue. It's just a rogue knight move. I don't think it has any, has any value. So I'm just going to immediately punish it by just attacking it. And he'll have to go to the weird... Yeah, he just goes back. So in this exchange, it's this. It's his turn. Now it's the same position, except for I've made a pawn move, and now it's my turn. So I got a move, and then it's my turn again. I think in this position, if he was like, hey, do you want to go b4 for free? I would say yes. It keeps his knight out of the position and advances my queen side. So I got something that I wanted out of the position. I can't yet play... I really would like to play uh, c5 here. I can't yet play it, but what I can play is bishop here. Bishop e3. This this goes for c5 again. I imagine I just did the snapping again. But then also, now my bishop is defending my king some. Now, in all honesty, I want to get my king out of here. My king needs to go away from the king side because his pawns are coming down the board really, really fast. Now, I think I can open up the question is, can I play c5, or do I have to just focus on getting my king out, right? Because if I just have to get my king out, I should try to, like, move my queen, move my rook, and then walk my king to the other side of the board. Or do I play c5, takes, 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 and then is there maybe some tactics or something that I can use? I think there are some tricks, but c5, he does nothing. c5, let's say he does not, or he pushes on the king's side. c5 pushes on the king's side. I can play c Six, attacking his knights, takes, takes, he moves the knight. And then I move my knight, and I have like the, the access to the... 
to the d5 square with my queen for check. I don't think I can get at his king fast enough. So the uh, new plan is to get my king out of the king side so I can just avoid getting absolutely crushed. So if I could put my king anywhere on the board, I'd probably put my king on d2. How do I get my king on d2? I'll have to move the bishop or the rook, and then just walk it over the three moves. Can't really move the bishop because there's nowhere for it to go. So I can move rook over, king over, bishop back. That's a, that's a lengthy maneuver. I just want to make. I just want this to be very efficient. I can't break the king side. I was gonna. I was gonna play g, g three, takes to the bishop, and then I can walk my king over. But that just opens up a, a really big target in my position. Making space for the king. Maybe it is good to do that. Maybe it's good to play c5. Okay, now I can play c5 for sure. Now I can play c5 for sure. Okay. I play c3? c3, he takes and I take it. And what did I accomplish? Like I said, I opened the d5 square. I shut out his knight a little bit. But also he can push his d-pawn, so I don't like that. My queen, I don't think, is very good right now. My bishop on uh, g2 is or f2 is kind of doing the lord's work here, defending the dark squares. Probably pinning the knight to the queen is a good move. I hadn't even considered that. That would have been a brilliant move, I think. Even back in this position. Oh, I already moved the rook. Yeah, my bishop goes to h4, pinning the knight, so it's doing a job. And then it's essentially defended. And then I can move my king up, move the rook over to line up against this king. Then I can drop my king over to d2. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I can never I can never take on d6. It activates his knight and gets rid of some of the pawns, letting his queen out. I'm a little bit worried about some of the moves he has here. I'm not gonna sit here and cap at you. Okay, this is actually a huge relief. Wow, that makes my king get to the center way, way faster. That pawn was, the bishop was really a thorn in my side. And we have space that's very similar. Do we have equal space? Two pawns on the other rank, two pawns back. Yeah, we have equal space. You can see it's like two waves colliding. I really don't care about that. Is he trying to take the pawn? Yeah, I don't I don't know, dude. I don't I don't think he's doing this the right way. His light squared bishop is very sad. Um maybe he's going to try do I take with the knight or the king? The king, I think. Yeah, the king, I think. And then he checks and I just walk my king over to the other side, which is what I wanted to do anyway. Yeah. This is not scary, I don't think. Is he gonna sack the bishop for those two pawns? No. No. But now my rook gets where it needs to be. My rook goes over to G or H files. Yeah, this is all good. All good. It's all good. Yeah, now C6 is more compelling. C6 takes takes. I mean, I gotta watch out for the for the bishop activating. I don't, I don't want to activate the bishop unnecessarily. So if he plays B6, for example, I can play C6. And then I can play A5. And then I can play B4. So I think, I think... I can. I think I can. I think the bishop is locked out. So he should probably take the uh, take the pawn uh, on c5 with his pawn, which is, I don't, I don't know, that seems pretty pretty anti anti British. Just because he's giving me a passed pawn. Also, he's, ice, he's making his uh, e-pawn very weak. But I think otherwise he's sacking a piece, basically, right? 
because I don't see how he gets his bishop out, like at all. I have a very solid pawn chain. Like I said, he can only sack the bishop for the for the a pawn and the b pawn. The problem is his king is there, and so he's got his king to like not be there, and then he'll be okay. That'd be what I'd do. Um, that's why I think before I bring my king all the way to the middle, it's an important move that I bring my rook to the g file. That way, I'm immediately discouraging the the double pawn sack. I think the double pawn sack is one of his best best options here. Uh, maybe there's also the immediate a5. a5 by him. Because I don't, I don't really want to take that. And if I play b4, he can take it right away. I mean, those pawns are defended, and I still can play... Actually, a5, I'll play b4. He takes, I take with the knight, and I can still have a, I still have time for a4. Yeah, so no reason to worry. He's trying to get his knight out. Um, he might sack. He could sack. He could sack. That's true. I'm not worried. We're going to go here and then run our king over more. I think our king wants to be on c2 now. It's a light square, but as previously discussed, I am I think, I think, I think, that his light square bishop might just not be playing chess, which is pretty good for me. Okay, we're going to slide over, and then actually drop our knight backwards to attack his queen. Um, if I was him, I'd probably try to go for knight h7, knight g5, and then take the bishop or the pawn, and try to get more material for it. Um, yeah, a5. We talked about this. Uh, I think we go... Well, we should, should we kick the queen out first? Is it important to kick the queen out first? We go here. So my pawns are very far advanced now. A4, if I get to play A4, his bishop is dead even if he takes the pawn. So, I don't know, man. I don't want to push C6 anymore. I'll push C6 if he plays B6. But B6 is the worst move in chess history, so he's probably not going to play it. Yeah, knight H7, knight, knight G5 is pretty strong. Whoa. Whoa. I don't think that's right. And it's because I take... I take on c6, and then I take on d6. Right? Sure, his bishop's getting better, but, I mean, he deserves it, right? He did a, he did a lot of work for that. <laughs> or is there also b6 here? Or just a4? Wow. Is there a4? a4, he takes, I take. Then he has a pass pawn. a4, he takes in the center. I take with the knight. Takes the knight, I take. Oh, that's kind of giving him a lot of pawns. I think we'll take the pawn now that we have it. I'll have an extra piece. Um, oh wait, did he, was, did he blunder? I think he blundered. I can take. I could have taken on d6, and then his e5 pawn hangs. Yeah, it still hangs. So which one's more important to take? I think this one. Then we'll attack his queen, and then our knight will go to the middle and take that pawn. He's really desperately trying to get his pawns rolling. Do I even take the e5 pawn? It's a center pawn, like it's really important, but also it kind of lets his bishop play chess. And I kind of like the fact that his bishop isn't playing chess. So, it's not a totally straightforward situation. Um, he has a tactic. He has a tactic. So we'll like stop him from having a tactic. Oh, if we take on e5, then it lets him check us with his bish with his queen. I didn't see that. So maybe we attack the queen first and then take the pawn? If we attack the queen, where does it go? It has to go backwards. That's good. I think that's enough for me. To know that it has to go backwards. Oh, this is so tough. So many options. So the position's really opened up. He's down a pawn at the moment. Um, which is good for me. I basically traded my advantage. I didn't spoil anything, which is good. 
He can take my pawn. I didn't see that. He can take my pawn on D on E four and no, on E four, and reveal an attack on my knight. So she gets the pawn back. I didn't see that. It's check too. And I think I take that with the bishop. I take with the bishop. Because then I'm threatening to take on d5. With check, picking up the rook in the corner. So he has to take back with the pawn. And then I have a little bit of time to save my knight. I think. And my knight can come back, I think. In that position. I'm not sure, dude. It's getting tense. I only have two minutes left. And the position's kind of complicated. I mean, it's not for a grandmaster, but I'm not a grandmaster, so. <laughs> this move attacks a lot of stuff. My knight is hanging. But I also attacked his knight, so it's all good in the end. Um, now, do I take the do I take the a pawn? Sorry, do I take the h pawn and defend my knight, or do I take the e pawn and attack his queen? Huh. I think taking the h pawn is dangerous. Puts my queen off sides. Also, he can push his pawn forward with check. Pushing forward with check's not that scary. Oh, I, you can't take with the A-pawn. Because his rook comes down. No, it's okay if his rook comes down. Yeah, I'm going I'm to blunder here in a couple moves and lose the game. Which is very sad. Uh, it's equal material, so I can't give up a knight. So I got I to gotta save the knight. And I think this move saves the knight. We can also just attack his bishop. I'm being really slow right now, I don't know why. It's very unfortunate. I'm abandoning my king with this move. Um, I think rook f5 is tempting, and then I have queen too. Whoa. What? I'm very confused. I guess I lose now. I don't I don't know why, but I guess I lose. Okay. He wants me to step on the open line. I'll just go back. And then I'll just check and trade queens. I don't see the issue. repeat a couple times I think I'll walk my king actually oh wait a second what dude I'm, I'm actually experiencing a massive massive amount of confusion check scenario king is relatively safe from checks here attack the queen And I actually want to play d7 here. I can give up the pawn if I need to. Oh, dude, I'm nervous. His check is good, I think. Uh, here? I'm so, I'm so confused. I'm going to lose the game. I'm actually so awful. I'm so irritated. So annoyed. 14 seconds left is insufficient amount of time for this position. I don't know where anything is supposed to go. I can't think clearly in this position. I attack the queen. This is what I do. I attack the queen, like this. The queen moves. And then I take the pawn with check. 
This is good. Uh, that's not good. That's awful. I lose the queen now. Well, he loses the queen too, right? Uh, uh, shoot. Dang it. That's awful. I'm literally so irritated. Lost 10 points. Anyway, GG. I'm not gonna do the game, because I'm upset at it, but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't play as bad as me. Play like this Indian chess player, Atuya Gupt.